we're here. We're here with another episode <laughs> of the stack. I'm Sputnik Cobra. I'm joined by Venom and VTS X King. And I'm really excited to have them today. I'm real I know everyone else is excited. They're one of the both of them are some of the most well known players and also content creators. Uh, they've been creating content. Venom has been at it for a long time. He he used to have another identity. Maybe we'll reveal that on stream. I don't know. I have to get his <laughs> his permission. But uh, on the other side below me is VTS X King of Ignite, and he is Hello. Um, he is one of the most oh, prolific stringers. You're good uh, in the in the business. Um, the the business that pays us very little, which is echo streaming, echo content creation, and even echo competition in general. But we love it, and that's why we're here. And I'm happy to see all of these viewers, everyone participating in chat, Vanquish, Death Creeps, V himself. But uh, no, it's going to be a very exciting night. And uh, let's do some intros. So Venom, you know, let's go. What have you been doing? And you know, tell us about yourself. Yeah, so um, I've been making videos for uh, Echo Arena for about a year and a half now. Um, started off uh, just making, there was some pretty long uh, long videos. I've shortened them down a little bit, tried to make some nice highlights, and then I moved into tutorials and stuff. So uh, it's been really fun, really a good way to engage with the community. I really enjoy it. Now, V, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I don't know. Uh. I competed, uh, and then I just started streaming. I was mainly to, like, help people. Because, like, first of all, there weren't a whole lot of, like, streaming. But um, a lot of times people come in and ask questions. But, like, that's what I do. I would do tutorials, but I, I don't have the patience. Well, you know, a lot of us stream and do a lot of these things just for the benefit and exposure that Echo gains. And it's something that we love, and, you know, we do our part. To whether you know, I've had programmers on that do their part to enrich the community and expand the community and create tools. And on the flip side, you've got content creation. And, you know, this is much more accessible. It's every, it's, you know, it can bring people. I mean, not saying that programming isn't, but everyone serves the community in their own right and their own capacity. So, you know, content creation being a big element of that. How do we get to new players? How do we influence people to get, play the game? How do we create entertaining content for existing players? And, you know, these are the ways that we do it. These are our tools. You know, I, 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 I dislike the term content creator. I'll start off with that. I hate the term content creator because I do what I do because I enjoy it. And I think content creation kind of assumes that you're just making stuff. And... You know, there's much more purpose to what we're doing. And uh, Venom, how do you feel about the word content creation? Um, you know, I agree with you because there is a lot more to it than just throwing out content. Um, especially now with, I, I guess originally that was kind of just what I did was created content about the game. But lately I've moved more into the coaching role, um, you know, trying to put out those tutorials that help, <clears throat> sorry, uh, help uh, new players who have just found the game and don't really know how exactly to get better, you know, and that's, and that's what I'm trying to help is make that learning curve a lot easier. Uh, so I think that's helped a lot with shifting from content creator to, you know, coach and, and everything else. Yeah. And I definitely agree with that. Um, you know, with everything I've been doing with Redshift uh, is for, first and foremost, coaching and character development and building and you know, how do we create these tools and all of these elements help the community so much. It makes it accessible. You don't have to do one-on-ones. They can watch things at their own pace. And echoing that sentiment of helping out the community and helping players, v, v said the same thing. He he creates because he wants to help. He wants to make it um, an easier experience for newer players. And can you expand on that, V? Helping the new players? Well... Uh, helping the new players, you know, helping because helping the new players helps the community. Yeah, or just helping the community. Okay. Yeah, uh, I don't. Know. I just like helping people. Um, what is it? I'll make different uh, 
transitions for people, like tools, whatever. Maybe it's the way I was raised. I just like to, I don't know, something about helping people. Yeah, I mean, you're very, oh. I would agree with that, because I, I actually I actually told uh, V, I was like, you're, you're making everything for everyone, they're not making anything for themselves. And that's and that was me, an instance of me being a little too selfish, and an instance of where I could learn from V. And ultimately what uh, V is doing is helping everybody and pushing pushing the community forward by uh, helping and assisting content creation or just allowing people to explore streaming and feel more confident about it. But, you know, that's so that's the kicker. That's the start of this stream. And I always love asking content creation, but, you know, how, as we segue to the next question, the question I ask everybody, and I love this question, and I'm going to go to Venom first. When did you realize that Echo Arena was something special? Oh, man. So I, I think everybody remembers the first time they booted into this game. And uh, even doing the tutorial, I think there was a tutorial at the time when I started. And just pushing out and that floating, you know, weightless feeling that you get from VR. You know, that in so itself was impressive. And then it, it took a little bit for the game to actually, I think, become the sport that it is. Um you know, at the beginning, it was a lot of just like the throw around, you know, somebody finally gets a goal, but it, it's, it changed pretty dramatically, pretty quickly. And I think, I don't know, a couple months in, I was like, wow, this is, this is a sport. This is no longer just a video game. So, um, yeah, that's, I think, probably when I noticed it the most. So have you heard me market the game as, because I've seen you market the game as I cut myself off and then started your sentence. I've heard you call the game a V-sport. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, but uh, did you know that V Sport is actually already used for motorsports? I did not. Yeah. <laughs> so, because um, I, I looked at all the. Because I, I, I dislike VR esports because it hasn't helped us push this game forward and market it. Because, you know, VR esports, we've tried, we've tried time and time again to market it as this continuation of traditional esports and it hasn't helped us reach new people yeah. so i've been pushing for vr sports and i got a little bit of traction the other day and i've been barking this whole point about vr sports for like a year now mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh and how do you feel about vr sports as a as a marketing title or as a new moniker of it v? a lot of v's wait Venom V or VTS V? Oh, that's oh yeah, question. I forget. <laughs> um, I got okay. I gotta call you V. I'm gonna have to say VTS. All right, so VTS, how do you feel about VR sports? VR sports. I think it'll definitely win over some like some of the more naysayers of esports. Like mm -hmm. the whole one of the arguments is like esports is sitting on a keyboard at a keyboard, clicking, moving your mouse around. Like this is like a nice little mixture of both. Um, mm -hmm especially now that there are no real sports happening for the most part. Um, that's like a big segue. Like I could see it being a thing. And it's better than just sitting on, on your couch, I guess. Well, I mean, playing I, Xbox. You know, and there's nothing wrong with playing Xbox, but... Oh, no. I, I came from I, Xbox. I was exclusively Xbox before I started playing Echo Arena. Wow. I haven't, I haven't touched it in like three years. Same. Were you you guys were both console gamers? Oh yeah, yep. I yeah. played Xbox One. Xbox One, yeah, same. <laughs> oh no. And you made the transition. You went you went from like PC like illiterate maybe. Were you, oh yeah. Okay, so you made that transition. I bought a PC just for my Rift. Yeah, I wow. pre-built. Like I have no idea how to build a computer. I mean, I could probably figure it out if I want. Like looked into it a little bit, but yeah, I bought that just for the Rift, and then it has basically been an Echo Arena machine ever since <laughs> I found the game. Yeah. So you went from one of the most like tech illiterate communities to the <laughs> most tech literate community, <laughs> full of programmers, full of computer engineers and network technicians, and computer tech. Like that's a that's a huge change. It's made me smarter, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Around I mean, all these people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've definitely benefited from it because you know when I have an issue, and V is also great with computers. I don't. So was this? 
the same for you, BTS? No. I actually bought my PC back in 2014 to try to get into PC gaming. But, like, I don't know. The consoles just had me. The Xbox was just way better, in my opinion. Um, up until I played an Oculus demo for Unspoken. And then that won me over. I was, I was going to buy a headset and I bought it. Um, I actually had to buy an up, a graphics card and upgrade it to play it. But, uh, yeah, haven't touched my Xbox since. This is why I love doing this show. Like, this moment right here. You know, this is this is good stuff. I'm, I'm already enjoying this episode. <laughs> me personally. But, you know, that's this, this is crazy transition from going from uh, a console. Because I've always been a PC gamer. I sold my PlayStation 2 and my Xbox in 2004. And I decided that I was going to get into computers. Mm. And it's it's been 16 years. So... Yeah. You know, and, and these experiences took time. And, like, you've got... So you, you, you bought this gaming... Ooh, I pressed something. You bought this gaming computer. I'm getting too passionate. I'm punching my, my keyboard. <laughs> so you bought this gaming computer, and, and from there you learned video editing, right, Venom? Yeah, so I was fortunate enough... My dad, when he got his Mac, um, it came with the Final Cut Pro software... And um, it was just something that I was like, yeah, you know, I, I, I've always kind of wanted to learn video editing. Um, never had any formal training or anything like that. So I just started playing around with it, watched a few tutorials, and, uh, and yeah, just kind of grew from there. It, you know, that's the beauty of just doing. Like, mm -hmm. if that, that's something like an ethos I've really embraced since playing Echo, just doing. If I don't know how to do it in a... And uh, far coming in with uh, big V vibes tonight on the stack. A lot of V, 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 V. But yeah, definitely a lot of Vs. Um, so, no, but like, I, ca I came into this community. I played traditional games for a while. I played like Half-Life 2. That was what, that's what changed my world. I was playing Half-Life 2 way back in the day. And then I, you know, would come and go from playing PC games. You know, it, I'd lose a job and I'd play intensely for like two months and get another job. Mm -hmm. I, I would milk that unemployment though. To play <laughs> games. Um, of course. Uh, but and then I, I found Echo Arena and I was like, this is the sport that I've been missing since I left high school. Mm -hmm. And you know I just loved it. And and ha like I'll, I'll go to v VTS. So many V's. I'm getting caught up on it. But VTS. Now we're gonna go into sports. Did you play sports growing up? Um, in high school, I played soccer. I was a forward, and I, at the end of the year, I was put on left mid. That's it. That's all. The only sports I played. So I played defender. I used to play striker, 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 mid. It was striker for like. I played soccer for many years. I played. I played like every sport. I went from striker because I used to be fast, and then everyone got taller than me, so my advan my strides were not as long, and then I would get smoked. Still pretty quick, and then I would I would work my way all the way back from midfield to defender, and then I would also be like a backup goalie. But uh, you know I I love talking about sports, so I know that I know that Venom plays sports. Ven I know that Venom goes to the gym. Look at this man. Uh, <laughs> it, it, Finally, I have someone like with broader shoulders on this the show than me. Uh, no, but Venom, uh, what sports did you used to play high school growing up? Like, what were the biggest sports and biggest impact on you? Yeah, so um, I'd grown up playing baseball, but uh, soccer was the game that kind of changed my my youth. I guess I uh, I played through middle school for a club team, played uh, varsity all through high school, and then ended up playing a year in college as well. Uh, I was a goalkeeper, um, so it, it's kind of odd that, you know, I've, I've moved more to a striker position in Echo and forward. But, um, but yeah, I started off as a goalkeeper, and I, I even actually started Echo as a goalkeeper as well, but just kind of transitioned forward. So you've uh, forsaken your goalkeeper instincts. You have, I you have. have. It helps, though. <laughs> oh, it definitely helps. Um, yeah. I feel like my hockey tra the few 
like the two years, three years I played hockey off and on, and a lot of roller hockey. I love street mm-hmm. sports. Um, I like like street basketball. I like I like the physicality, the no rules, and like the fights. That was always fun, um, mm-hmm. especially on street hockey. <laughs> but uh, no, there's just I like the those elements of it, and that's really funny that you go from playing soccer as a goalkeeper to playing this game as a striker. Right. So yeah, <laughs> you know, like I, I've I've stuck to defense, like, and I. Yeah, that's really cool. I have I got no words. I think that's a really cool dynamic, and I think that's a really cool phenomenon. Um, yeah. But uh, looking at this chat, you can see they're going crazy. Uh, we Vanquish saying we all secretly know this game will blow up in ten years when everyone has VR and we will be these old ass OGs. How do you feel about? I'll go to Venom. How do you feel about that? Honestly, I, I mean, I, I get exactly what they're saying. I feel like it, it's kind of a bummer to me that we are getting in it this early, in a sense, that, uh, you know, I don't know how many more years until I'm going to have to prior. It's, I, who knows what this is going to eventually do to my shoulder. I, you know, there's potential stuff out there. You just don't know what to expect. And there's, you know, kids growing every day that uh, are going to be getting better at it. So you just... Take it one year at a time, I guess. So you're closer to my like age and demo, and uh, now V's a little bit younger than us. So V's got a few more years under his belt to compete. We got a few more years under our belts because we're old. <laughs> um, now V, how do you feel about that? Venom, uh, I'm getting caught up. V T S X King. All right. How do I? Um, yeah, it's kind of a bummer because I think I'm just on the cusp of like. Like when it blows, I think when it blows up, I'll be on like the back end of that. So like I'm, or yeah, back end of that. So I'm probably gonna miss out just as much as you guys, maybe a little less. But I'm I'm not that much younger than you guys. Uh, um, if, if only we could all. I told B Love if if only I could age as fine as you, because B Love, <laughs> and I always I always use him as that like outlier. I love B Love. He's just I mean it's in his name, and. He stays physical, and he shows that he can still compete. And this game offers this wide range of of age dynamics, you know, and it's really one of the great elements of it. Uh, but I'm not Zeus saying, back in my day, we had handles. And if that's not a great comment, I don't know what is. And Death Re- Creep's coming in with, uh, not the shoulder. Uh, but... You know, <laughs> I miss the handles. <laughs> I really do miss <laughs> yeah. the handles. Uh, talk about back in the day. Can I? Can we discuss your 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 move into Venom? I'm really interested in that. When you decided that you were oh. gonna, you want to discuss yeah. that? Sure. Yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah. So my original account <laughs> was the started. Great Z. The Great Z. Very creative, right? So <laughs> it eventually. Um, because I, I don't know, I eventually changed it to Z for ESL just because it's quick, it's easy, um, you know, for your teammates to say. And it was going to be difficult, I think, to build a YouTube channel around just the letter Z. So I was like, oh, let's find something. I don't know. I just like the word Venom. It, it, and I, I felt like it was a, a good way to build a, a channel around something, you know. I, I remember so. playing with you. <laughs> Excuse me. I remember playing with you and being like, who are you? Because your team, you used to play with uh, someone who was very infamous. Oh, God. Yeah. A name we will not discuss. Okay, because, yeah, we don't have to. Because I, I believe in the the no call-outs. Um, but uh, he, had, he was probably one of the first people to really find a lot of use from the underhand wrist flake. Remember? I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. Cause I can't were... remember his name. I can't remember his name. I had two different teams where I might have had someone who could have been a little infamous. But, no, he, uh, was, he was infamous. Oh, he, yeah. was a, he was in the military. Oh, yeah, then I know who you're talking about. Do you remember his name? Because now, now I'm like, I'm going to go against my ethics here. I remember. I know who you're talking about now. 
I think I'm I'm pretty sure. But yeah, um, sh- oh, like, he was still talk. a good guy. He he was a little. He bit was a good guy. Bad. I loved it. He just he just got. You know me. I get heated on the court. Yeah. And he gets he gets heated with a little <laughs> bit. Uh, very, pas- very passionate. <laughs> very passionate. I think he was a little overtly toxic. A little. Yeah. Oh my god. I figure with that. Oh, what was his name? I'll leave everybody. It, what was it? Yes, yeah, it. Was it a? T- I don't know. Was it just gravity? Is that yes, that was it. Just gravity. gravity. I played with him. I think it was season three of ESL, if I remember right. No, no, because I played you. In, I had that team. My first team when I was starting out, and you gave us our first scrim. And I had. Trusky and Lazy Atkins. This is before yeah. I ended up keep playing. Like I get, this is what got me noticed, and then I started uh-huh. playing subbing, and then Ignite pick as Atlas picked me up. Right. And, uh, that was season one. Are you or sure it wasn't two? Because I played with Kipper in season one. You remember Kipper forty four? Yeah, I remember Kipper. Yeah, I played with him and Oteku. Yeah, I remember Oteku and just Gravity and you. Yeah, or no, it was Kipper and Zach Schmack. That was that. I don't know if you remember Zach Schmack. That that goes way back. He was, yeah, that's a long time ago. So, but. so Venom is an OG. No, let no one forget that Venom is an OG <laughs> and he's been around since the beginning. He just wasn't always named Venom. Now talking yeah. of talking about the beginning, V, tell us when you got into the game. Um, I have gotten into the game. I uh, I got my Rift through Amazon. The day, like the day that I ordered, I got it. Um, what was happening? I think I was playing a little bit of Unspoken because that's what sold me. So I got Unspoken. Then I was looking for other things to get for free. And oh, the Echo Arena is right there. Just download it. And then I pulled the bar. Once I got in, I pulled that bar. Sold me. Hooked. Just the bar. That's all I needed. It was just that bar. <laughs> so satisfying. I kind of want it back. Like once every like every year. Like on the day that it released, give me that bar. I just to pull it. Yeah. In my deathbed, oh. give me the bar. I just <laughs> the bar. <laughs> and then I can slowly, I can just go. Hit my coffin. <laughs> well, when you're yeah. old, when you're old and you have to get it off the toilet and you have to use those safety bars, you can be like, "That's my bar now." That's that's the one. <laughs> that's a terrible <laughs> joke. That was awful. Um, no, but. Yeah, I, I'm just I just got just gravity stuck in my head, and like all, all of right. these mem the memories are coming back. Like we've spent so much time in the arena, so many, mm-hmm. and we've had so many like formative experiences. And it's, you know, it really is a testament to the immersiveness, the the sense of intimacy, and really the power of Echo Arena in VR. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was talking with Lemming. I uh, emphasize it so I don't say lemon. Uh, I was talking with Lemming and a few other people, and uh, he said something that I agree with. And Lemming said, uh, "Half Life Alex." When when people talk about VR, Half Life Alex will be a chapter, or yeah, it will be a chapter. Echo Arena will be a volume. Yeah. What do you think about that, VTS? Um, depending on how it goes, I guess. Because, like, the, in my opinion, the game could easily just, like, fade away if, like, the developers don't support it. Um, or, well, I don't know. The you know dev- like, well, I gotta cut you off. And you know you guys can talk with each other, right? You know. We oh, can I'm have... trying to be polite. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm really bad at interrupting people, <laughs> and I'm, like, trying really hard not to. Well, you know, feel free to speak. As, you know, there ha- it doesn't have to be so punctuated. Feel free to speak. Yeah. And, yeah. But... I mean, I'm kind of I I get I get this all set up, but I really like to encourage a little bit more free flow in conversation. But this is I'm enjoying this, and I know the audience is. Um, but <laughs> Oculus just picked up. Right. It's going to be That's around huge. for a long it, time. It could be like absolutely. You never know. Like, I don't think it's going away. What if? What if their mission is like different? They want Lone Echo of the series, right? Just like constant, and then just. The multiplayer. We already know Zuck plays. He already Zuck plays. 
Yeah. You we, know? Yeah, Zuck says a lot of things. I don't know. <laughs> Vote Venom for Venmo CEO. <laughs> like, I'm predisposed to reading Far's messages. <laughs> and and I don't like that one. That one was a little way far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, Far. I'll be I'll be Venmo C B you know, CEO. It's vote ve- <laughs> vote Venom for Venmo CEO. Here we go. But uh, <laughs> this this uh, message approved by Venom. Far just likes to post these things and have me say them and then clip them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I I see Far's name and I'm like, all right, I gotta read what he says. And he's realized that by now. Uh, <laughs> no, but. Uh, it's gonna be around for a while. I think that. I I know I see you talking. Do you, feel free to cut me off. Oh yeah, I think I think for the most part it's pretty good. Now that Oculus bought Rad, like, if th- their goal is to get the the default like the go to VR esport, they have it, and like all they have to do is pour resources into it, and it's set. I, but if they don't, then you know it just dwindles away. I but think, it's very likely that it will. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I think there's a good chance that arena outlives combat i could see combat eventually getting dropped i don't know i mean i haven't played combat in a while but i just i feel like there's enough shooters out there there's not a whole lot of there's no other shooter like echo arena except for i guess maybe is it space junkies that's kind of similar it's still not the same space junkies was kind of 40 dollars was 40 dollars yeah, Space Junkies was kind of built... I feel like it was built for controller first because they ended up adding 2D and controller functionality to try and, like, extend the life of the game. And Ubisoft, mm-hmm. they tried hard. Those developers, they tried. They did the best they could. But it's so hard to exist in this VR sphere when it's so small and one experience yeah. is so profoundly greater than the other one. But, uh, you well, know... Co- new, but, like, nothing has been tested and tried before. Yeah, and it's, it's really just... All these developers are banging their heads against a wall until they strike gold. And Echo Arena struck fucking diamonds. They hit the mother load. Like, there is no, there's no, like, no over exaggeration. They hit the mother load. And still, they struggled. They struggled so much to bring this game to everybody. And they still are struggling, in my opinion. I think it's because of the exclusivity. Yeah, I don't think that's helping. Hmm. So, I never really think about the exclusivity because, like, I'm so pro. I used to be kind of like, eh, Facebook. You know what? Like, they're just doing their thing. Not like anti-Facebook, right? Yeah. I didn't use social media that much, but I wasn't explicitly anti-Facebook. And now I'm like, yeah, Facebook, collect all my data you want. Like, m- like, go into my personal life and my Discord and mine all the data you want. Do whatever you want. Like, I'm completely loyal to Facebook now. It's, it's ridiculous. Like the 180 I pulled. Um. I- I feel the same way. Yeah, like I'm. As long as they keep producing this game, take whatever you want. <laughs> I've got kids. Take my kids. Take my wife. <laughs> no, my but... blood. <laughs> take it right out of my veins. Um, <laughs> no, but like I feel the same way, and it's it's crazy. And uh, you know, talking about combat, I still think that combat has a chance for success. Uh, and the combat community continues to strive to find that uh but it's it, it's just such a different game and i enjoy combat but mm-hmm. uh, I, I find uh much more value in arena and i think everyone not everyone because there are some people who still play that uh they they obviously feel that you know with the way that people approach like these different games, like, like arena is a sport. It just feels it feels much better to play against friends in this sport rather than you know shooting them. It's a lot less mm-hmm. vi- like it's inherently less violent. Aside from punching them in the head, yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> did I don't know if that was an, an agreement. What do you? What, how do you feel, VTS? Um, well, the whole the whole thing is like a simulation. I don't know. I'm looking at like it from like the lore's perspective and like. It's all just like robots shooting. I don't know. I mean, that's still violence. I guess. But no more than like punching people. Yeah, I mean, so which violence is worse? The one where you shoot and disintegrate? You know, now we're kind of getting into semantics. I liked 
I like the original concept for combat where you could dismember people, like like remove that was limbs. A thing? Yeah, Naven was telling us, not Naven, Nathan. Uh, my bad. He was telling us that like they were trying it out, where like you could remove like arms and stuff. But the problem was sometimes you'd have people with no arms and they'd just be floating torsos. And then what would you do? <laughs> wow, he they really experimented with that. I can imagine like I can't imagine that because to have that disconnect, people would be having like phantom like digital phantom limb syndrome. Yeah. They're like, I have this real hand you have and that dope hand. Like when you when you push through an object, you have that ghost hand that you can see. Mm-hmm. So like, oh, you would still have your hands. You just, you just could, wouldn't work. So that makes sense. It does make like, sense. Uh, I'm just I'm just thinking like that was would have ultimately been a good design. Like Stormland. Stormlands. Remember, you could pop off your arm, fix it oh, up. Like Robo Recall. Oh, I didn't play Stormlands. That's okay. You got a free you got a free copy because you went to OC six. Oh yeah. So like I was super hyped for it. That was kind of a disappointment. I think I think that was the general consensus from everybody. Yeah. I mean VR games are hard to pull off. They're hard to deliver on. We even saw that with Half Life Alex. Like Half Life Alex was a mediocre experience for VR. It was a it, it's a it was a great thing overall because it got people to buy headsets, but. You know, it got them to buy them. Did it get them to keep playing them? No, it didn't. Because you guys, <laughs> it, like, did, have you played Half Life Alex yet? Uh, I'm not. Mm-mm. So, like, I started off with Half Life Two. That's what got me like head over heels into PC gaming. Just an amazing story. I loved it all. And then, so I was all dedicated about Half Life Alex when it. I, I think I was in DreamHack. I was uh, I just got back from Atlanta and I was uh, I stayed in the hotel room in like Maryland before I drove down, uh, and it was announced and I was like, like I woke up from a nap and I was like, in shock. I was like, this is happening, like this is good news, like this is happening, and uh, yeah, it was, it was okay. It was a okay <laughs> it was okay <laughs> like it was just, uh, yeah all right it, <laughs> it was okay like and it makes you realize how special echo arena is like with that cust- like they have a custom engine they have ev- like they did everything in house like mm-hmm. ready at dawn if if we're all doers they are the greatest doers because they accomplished what very little devs are able to do Especially, like, I don't know about if they, like, I, they originally had funding from Oculus or Facebook, but they have a team that just gets shit done, and they do it. I mean, like, people are like, oh, you know, updates, blah, 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 like, when are they coming? You know, this is, this was always traditionally, like, a smaller development studio. Mm-hmm. Um, like, they weren't, they weren't massive, like, Ubisoft, they weren't massive, like, uh, Bethesda. Or... yeah, they, like, in... Yeah. You know they were they're a developer, and then they were getting published by Oculus. So they were never like a p- component of Oculus. They were just a small studio, or a semi-smaller studio. I don't really know uh, what their original numbers were, but they created an experience that was profoundly greater than anything else. Like no matter the budget you threw at it, they cre- like even if you threw uh, like it cost a hundred twenty-five million dollars to make GTA Five. And GTA Five has grossed over like one, a few billion dollars. Like, yeah. like they made a return. That's insane. Yeah. And that's when I realized, uh, oh, chat isn't working on the stream overlay. Yeah, take it over. Uh, I have to fix this. Okay, never mind. We're gonna get back to it. It's, chat's broken. So anyone who watches the VOD is gonna lose it, lose that that viewership experience. Um, as I go, take it over. Uh, no, but. I should have checked that beforehand. The last episode we did, uh, I made an. I got caught up in the pre soundtracks and I made an error. And it seems that I had like three episodes where there was nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. So, at least this is this has been a great experience though. And uh, thank you, Fontac, for subscribing. And I think Vanquish subscribed before. And I want to thank both of you. But, you know, I should have my. No, everything's broken. I should have had these little overlays. Fuck it, we're gonna get back to this. So, <laughs> so yeah, Half Life Alex wasn't that good. 
It was it was okay, but like we've been spoiled by Echo Arena. No, that's fair. Um, quite yeah. honestly, I can't remember the last time that I ever wanted to spend more than like ten dollars on a VR game because I know I'll play it for a week, if that, and then I'll go right back to Echo Arena, and I just I I don't play anything else. This game is too too much part of my life at this point that I I don't know. I just don't play anything else. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I agree. How do you feel about that, V? Yes. No, that's I agree. I uh, what is it? If it wasn't for Echo Arena, I would probably be back on Xbox, and I would know none of you people. <laughs> Xbox turn off. Like, yeah. Well, it's, I don't think it's even plugged in. I think it's. I'd be afraid to plug it in. You actually, just sell that of thing. the layer of dust on it. <laughs> you just sell it. <laughs> New one's coming yeah. out anyway. Yeah, just sell that thing. You know what? Just throw it out a moving car window. Throw it out. <laughs> I use it as a paperweight now. It holds my uh, papers. Yeah. You mean a, a binder box? folder? Uh, I don't. I don't believe in those. Xbox One. Top. That's it. I'm trying to imagine oh. this because I, I like this joke, but <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. I keep like fidgeting. You can just move them. Into the DTT stunner. Remember? The... No, that's wrestling. Do you remember the old WWE? I mean, I'm getting like way off topic. I had this script, but I'm enjoying this like so much. Uh, v was like, you know, V didn't want to. VTS didn't want to do this for a while, and put him on the side. He's like, I, I don't want to do this. And I was like, you're gonna do great. And no, this has been. I told him he was gonna do great before, and he's been doing great now. And uh, can I get some love for VTS in the chat? I know that my stream is kind of broken. I don't know That's... what happened. It hasn't. <laughs> um, actually, I think I've almost logged another thousand hours in Echo. Yeah. Thanks, but... thanks, chat. Thanks, CJ. A VT sexy from Nom Not Zeus. See, the people love you, and I, <laughs> and we all we all know that everyone loves Venom. Mm. Now they might have not liked the Great Z so much. <laughs> right. But they love the venom. I, but no, it, I didn't it, know. I didn't know you were the great Z. That's actually pretty. Uh, I was pretty shocked. I wrote in chat, "I'm oh, shook." Really? When I found out you were the great Z. <laughs> it was so long ago. I, I had actually completely forgotten about it up until you brought it up. It, it, it was a different life. It was a different time. It was. It was uh, <laughs> playing with just gravity and the wrist flicks, and it was a totally different game then. Like to go back to that, I remember playing with you. And being like, who are you? I know you're some. Who are you? And you're like, you'll never find out. You said something like that. You're like, you'll never know. And I was like, I'll find out. This guy. <laughs> no, but I, I remember I remember playing with you. And I was like, I, I just remember having a lot of fun when you did the rebranding. And, you know, now you're on. Now you're here to stay. Now you have your, you have Venom. You have your brand. You've been uh, oh, show your merchandise. I know. We'll do a little soft plug. Right. Yep, yep. This is when you send a me your tip, guys. Fontag. Yeah, you can see that. You gotta shake it a little bit. Shake it. Oh yeah. Sorry, it's, <laughs> it's so this bad. whole green screen thing ain't working. Is it? Uh, how about this? <laughs> I have my head over. Here. Uh, yep. So the Venom tanks through VRware. Those guys have been awesome. The uh, this. The the built in green screen thing has to do like body silhouettes. It must be it's like it's got so, to. Um, so uh, he was uh, Venom was talking about like he didn't want to wear a tank top because he didn't feel it was like appropriate. And I was like, oh, you're gonna show some shoulder. But uh, <laughs> now now Fontac has to create a product that uh, has a long sleeve version. Oh. We've got tank t- or uh, sorry, t-shirts and hoodies too. Yeah, he's he's got that all put together. I just haven't gotten a t- uh, t-shirt yet. You haven't got this man a t-shirt, Fontag? What are you doing? I think we're I, I think we're gonna work sponsored out. by him. Oh yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Fontag? Fontag said that if I bring Venom back every month, it's on the way. He'll he'll sub. Hey, we're in the time of COVID. Shipping takes time, right? Now. No, it doesn't. Okay. They everyone's everyone's admitting to just doing whatever. Uh, get this man a shirt. We'll Venomware.net. But that. Venomware. Hmm. 
I don't know yeah. how Fanta has to be that. So talking about clothing and brands, we got the Ignite shirt. I wore it last stream. But uh, and it comes in all different sizes, from small to large. No, but... It, oh, for sure. <laughs> I know Far is in chat. Far can chime in. Far can do a little pl a plug for that. But, you know, we talk about content creation. Far has been doing his own content, and it's tangible content. It's apparel. So, you know, everyone's Most doing... Tangible. What were you saying? Oh, it's mostly tangible. It was a weird blurb. I don't know why I said it. I'm just going to hit that mute button. No, 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 no. Well, I guess it's... I get the joke because if you like... Zo if, I get the joke. I get it. But uh, no, it's it's really nice. Um, it's a nicer quality than the jerseys that ESL got us. <laughs> but uh, uh, one boosty boy coming in saying, content creators are pog, not biased in any way. I don't know how to interpret that one. Yeah. Far saying, LOL, should I plug the most popular shirt in Echo? Right, let me squint to see. Nah. So. <laughs> he, he already he already sold it. Uh, he has uh, everyone have to get on a, a list. It's going to be released in maybe waves. I don't know. Maybe he can talk more about it. But no, everyone's, you know, everyone's making their content. Uh, I've made stickers. They're not shirts. But uh, maybe maybe I can show them off with this screen. Uh, I can't. So yeah, pull we're going. like right up underneath your face or something. I don't... <laughs> so yeah, I there you go. go. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So uh, uh, if anyone joins the Discord, I'm gonna be posting a giveaway tonight. You can sign up for it. Uh, you can get stickers. I I have to cut them and spray the clear coat on them so that you can put them outdoors. Put them on your cat. Put them on your dog. Oh, they love that. <laughs> <laughs> right, in, like right in the middle, where like the hair kind of <laughs> forward. I don't know if you've ever put tape on like the front part of a dog before. Have you done that before? No. They freak out. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know why. Like, it, and it's varied for every dog. Like, one of mine like shook his paws really fast. He didn't know what to do. You giving dogs anxiety attacks with <laughs> tape? Yeah, uh, I was bored. I don't know. Well, there's that one thing that if you put like a, a piece, like something on a cat's head, it like throws off their balance, or is it tape? Or yeah. I don't know. This is like obscure animal cruelty <laughs> stuff right here. Uh, is it? I don't know. It's definitely not a. Definitely oh, I don't. A... I don't like. <laughs> I, I haven't done it since. Like I don't do this like every other day. <laughs> I don't laugh at them. I mean, it's not really like. As C. Jason says, don't say that on stream. So I punted my... That's real animal cruelty. <laughs> uh, if uh, Twitch wants to look through my VODs and determine that me saying that is impermissible, then yeah, then screw Twitch. <laughs> but, uh, no. Uh, so everyone's got their new, their new gear, their new threads. Uh, we have so much more things in the community and continues to grow. Uh... And it's definitely a good thing. It's definitely... Uh, how do you guys feel about the growth so far, uh, Venom? How, tell me about the growth. So, man, it first year of my channel, um, you know, I told myself I was just going to stick with it no matter how the growth was. And uh, I was getting a little bit of ner a little nervous towards the end of it because it was just like it, it was... It was growing, but at a very small pace. And then the the beta hit, the quest beta, and it just shot up. The numbers exponentially grew. It was crazy. And I I think that's that's what this game really needed was just kind of that shot of, of players. They needed that. And it'll only keep going up from here. I can't imagine it, you know, going back or, or falling apart. Thanks. So. And uh, not Zucks. I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> I saw comment. that. Uh, so Zucks... Uh, the captain of Redshift, uh, who I have yet to see how they did tonight, but whatever they did, I know that they did well. So, shout out to Zuck, shout out to JL Graham, shout out to C. Jason, no matter how much of a pain in the ass he is. And shout out to Solid Shot, and shout out to Supreme Buns. So, uh, sorry, sorry, I cut you off, but I gotta give them, I gotta give them that shout out. Uh, 
But I can't believe it's already 10.55. I can't believe, well, it's, I don't know your time zone, but I don't know how long you guys want to stay. I could keep going. I, I don't have anything to do. All right. Yeah, I'm good. The time in, life in the time of COVID. Uh, <laughs> Where it truly echo like starts to shine. Like you, I had the questions like the overarching themes, which was I did not put COVID in there, which I usually have it for the other ones. But let's. Uh, I actually do want to show one of your videos. I want. We've got the time. This is this has been going smoothly. This has been a good a good chat. Uh, so we're gonna cut. Let me start playing it. We'll cut to it. Oh man. My eye, like my eyes are so fatigued, I can't focus on anything. Like, <laughs> like Mr. McGee over here. Yeah, I'm struggling. I really am. So we're cutting to the screen, and let me. Oh, I should have had it play. Oh, oh, right, there we go. We're watching. Oh, okay. Friends season three episode five. My favorite episode. <laughs> no, so uh, and the chat's broken. Wow, this really sucks. Maybe I can. Yeah. Yeah. So this was actually a really fun one because I I feel like as far as content out there. There's not a whole lot of stuff that night. shows what goes on in the NFL. Like the teamwork, you, you see all these clips of people playing pubs and they have long shots and they're straight and all, but you don't really get what happens in an actual DRML uh, organized team. So I, this was a really fun one to put together. Um, you know, I love playing with these guys, so putting clips together with them was you know a lot of fun as well. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> because no one wants to share their like strats, no one wants to like expose their strategy. Yeah. And uh, Zeus coming in with uh, why the color filter? Oh yeah. I think it could just be my display cap. The color filter? I don't think there's one on there. I didn't use one. It could just be. Lower the audio, I beg. Not that loud. I guess everyone cranked up my audio, cranked up the audio because reset. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Might be coming in kind of soft. Yeah, we had some issues during the initial sound check, but we fixed it. I mean, other things suffered, but the chat's gone. But uh, no, the content of this stream, uh, this, the conversation is so good that it doesn't work. <laughs> And everyone's got a shout out. Everyone that subscribed, everyone. Thank you, Vanquish. Thank you, Fontag. You got your shout outs. Uh, thank you for the subscription. But we've got, you know, you've made all these videos, and they've they've been some of the best videos in the community, and they continue to be some of the best videos in the community. And you're prolific. You continue to make and create. And how many followers do you have on YouTube? Well, how many subscriptions do you have on YouTube? Um. I will nice. probably get nice. 1,500. Nice. I would guess Cutting next in. week. I mean, it's I'm at about 1,450 right now, somewhere around there. So it's it, and it just keeps growing. It's been incredible um, that people just keep finding this content and and they I, I think they enjoy getting it and uh, you know learning how to play the game with those tutorials and stuff. So I, th that's what I'd like to do more of. I love putting these highlights together just because they're fun for me. I like to go back and watch all these clips and. You know, see all our teamwork and stuff, but I, I think that the tutorials and um, teaching players how to play the game is going to be a lot more effective for, for building a channel around. Absolutely, and it's just responding to what the community needs and wants. So it, like, not only does it serve a good, but it you know it benefits you in terms of viewership, and it also probably more aligns with what you want to be doing. Yeah, um, that's a great. We're cutting back now. We're back on the cam. And I gotta bring up V's uh, video, but you know V only has clips. I was hoping V would make a video. Why didn't you make a video, V? Why haven't you made like a little Where? channel trailer? Like, like little YouTube videos? Yeah, like why not? You, uh, you need like I'm, a little intro. I'm working on it. I actually bought a new CPU, a new motherboard, and, and like a whole bunch of things so that I could do that. 
You did. Yeah. I have the box right here. Well, uh, can I can I show this on stream? It's too late. Sure, it's yeah. already on stream. Sure. Yeah, it's like an i5 thing. Uh, uh, Intel's not gonna sue me. No. Okay. Cool. And if they do, if they do, screw them. I'm not, I'm not behind you in any way. Uh, I don't have the capacity. <laughs> AMD rules. Intel sucks. I'll see you in court. No, I actually use Intel now. I've been an AMD fanboy my whole life. And then I played on an Intel at LAN. And I was like, oh my god, these are awesome. Oh, really? Yeah. It had like... I almost bought an Intel, uh, AMD. But, like, Micro Center was having, like, this nice deal on this Intel CPU. That's what swayed me over to Intel. Well, what, what, uh, what series is that? Hopefully that's a 10 series. Hopefully you didn't buy anything but a 10 series. 96. I have the 9600. Yeah. You're not going to be happy with it. I'm happy with it now. Like, my computer runs, it's buttery smooth. Like, before I was having, like, constant stutters with the i7, like, 47 something. Which way? Now it's like. You also smooth. had, like, a mobile i7. Yeah. Or something like that. They're something like a really shitty. 4790S. Yes. That's exactly the one. And, uh. Awful. I you should have waited for the 10 series. So expensive. Like I gotta know that. Have you seen the prices on, on the ten? Now paid, I'm gonna now I'm gonna get on your case. I paid one fifty for this. Ooh. <laughs> like, you don't think so? The ten series is like, pretty awesome, but one hundred fifty bucks for that is pretty good. Yeah, I thought it was. I paid. They only had three of them. I paid like, like two sixty for mine. Uh, in uh, November. So, one hundred fifty. Like that's appropriate. That's an appropriate price because the new ten series is like. Uh, really afford because mm -hmm. they're trying to compete with amd but you know no matter what you buy just make sure you can play echo and get your ass in echo but uh no for works so that's going to change your content creation you're going to be yeah so uh, did you build it yet yeah i'm running it right now there's no way i could be able to run like um actually no i think this would run normally on my old system yes this would run normally yeah so, it's, it, my old system was really shitty. Oh my god, it was. I feel like, like, I don't know how. Uh, night and day. Uh, six to ten series is all the same. And see, Jason say, stop shitting on him so hard. And now everyone's discussing uh, price. I've started a war of the tech. Uh, uh, this happened on one of my streams too, where like people were arguing over AMD versus Intel. You you can't bring it up anywhere. I like AMD for uh, anything but gaming now. I like AMD for uh, really challenging Intel and bringing down the price of everything collectively. Uh, that, that can't be understated what AMD has done. They took on, every like 10 years, they seem to take on the titan that is Intel and deal like a serious blow to them. And then Intel's like three years comes right back with like good hardware and then maintains like supremacy for a while and then they battle each other, which is good. Better for us as consumers. Uh, but I can't seem to get the chat working. I don't know what broke it. Uh, so I, for, I'm, I apologize to the audience. Um, but I want to go to one of V's clips. So V hasn't made a video, but I got a clip. Uh, oh, no. Okay. So, you know, tell us a little bit about your your experience and your, like, your streaming and like, how that all started. How that all started. Um, I was bored one day. And, well, I, I used to play uh, Echo Arena, like, every day. And I thought, why not stream it? And that's pretty much where it started. Um, that would be the end of it, except um, once I hit affiliate, someone, like, some of my friends donated. And uh, I've been locked in ever since. I can't leave. Like, my... I have to provide quality content for the money given, otherwise I can't leave. That's so you, yeah. <laughs> now why are you why are you laughing, Venom? Oh, you can't leave like Twitch? <laughs> what do you mean? I can't, <laughs> locking I, I you can't in that house? Like <laughs> I, I can't leave. You're you gotta keep room, streaming. Like, we're not letting you leave. we're not letting you out of the house until you like until you make those Twitch bucks. Exactly. You gotta make five grand and then you'll be released into the wild. 
<laughs> I don't know. I feel like because every time someone like like I I don't know. I feel like when you give money, you should be getting something in return. That's that's uh, you're much more admirable than most uh, Twitch streamers. Probably like ninety nine percent. Like there's probably somebody who's like a paragon of excellence and like morality, and you're like right behind him. Ah, uh, no about that. And so, you know the people who are like just donate to me. Uh. If you oh. watch my videos, just donate to me. Like I don't know, there's a sense of entitlement, but you know it's difficult to make it as a streamer. I'm definitely not making. I'm definitely doing this out of passion. I'm not. I don't make any money on this podcast. Uh, I made there's like five a, bucks. That, there's that's a, a viewer who comes in and drops like a hundred bits every time he joins. I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> who is? Who? He hops in. You might as well shout him out. He deserves it. Is it? I don't know. It's yeah. They said it in chat already. Who is it? Five. High spotted dog. Oh. Well, he's such a good guy. Spot. What a great guy. Like, but I, I feel yeah, like you're the one trapping it. him. V, like, he's trapping you with his bits. That's, yeah, a double, that, that's not a double entendre either. Um, but shout out to <laughs> five, five spotted dog, for uh, for showing support and you know being the one that pushes VTS along. It also makes him somewhat guilty i guess a little bit i just and, i don't know it feels really weird it kind of feels like charity in a way i don't no, know it's not charity you're, you're 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 entertaining you're performing a service so we're gonna cut to your clip uh and we're gonna make you a video i gotta <laughs> oh i don't have the audio on just yet that's me... all right they get the idea let me bring it they in. don't need audio everything Everything has a. Uh... No! Things are screwing up today. <laughs> so I can't hear this clip. What's actually happening? He made a good sound. Was it? Oh, that was it. Yeah. And then a south goal. So they counted for three points. That was like the worst part. It was a three pointer from inside no the goal. Yeah. How does that Awful. count as a three? That's insane. I don't know. Huh. But uh, I had a I had to walk away from that. That's like the most <laughs> clip out of everything I have. And I have another clip. I might as well cut back to it. But there, uh, this has explicit profanity. Yeah. So Cover your ears. If you're children. offended, uh, screw you. No, I'm just kidding. If you're offended, please lower your volume. Where is it? Right here. That's toxic. What's that one? Oh, right. That one's my personal favorite clip. Oh, it's loading. Oh, the buffers. So I was like, send me the clips. Massive frame drop, dude. And I didn't download them, so actually, you did the right thing. That's toxic. Lift up your... I went in frame drop. Holy shit. What's going on? Don't listen to the chat. Okay, yeah. <laughs> 20... 28 seconds? Alright. Uh, Alright. roll up the sleeves. We got this. Oh, as you roll your sleeves up. Oh, yeah. You can, you can see that farmer's tent, too. Five spotted dog coming through in chat. Let's see if we can make it. Alright, you got right? Alright. BTS arms? Fuck yeah, dude. Tell us about your your hardware modifications of your Rift. Do you see that little thing he's got on the Rift, Venom? Oh, I the tape. I well, I was gonna I was gonna play it off as a that joke. Was that like, tape? Oh. Yeah. So I'm I'm super pro, I'm like super into the CV1. CV1 is the best headset ever made. Like everything else sucks. Um, but they don't make the cord anymore. So like this is my only cord. This is my lifeline. The Echo Arena. So I've wrapped it in paper clips. And tape that so that it's supported and doesn't get pinched. I need to braid yeah, I could, my cable. I could uh, <laughs> I could show it on stream. It's like right here. Yeah, show it. Go grab it. Like uh, did you switch to the S, Venom? No. Oh Me? no, I'm still on the CV1. Do I'm you have a backup? Yeah. I do not. Yeah, it's. I've got a Quest. You know uh, like I don't like 
the Rift okay. S because it loses tracking. Because I throw like like completely vertical. So when I tried the S, when I would throw at the apex of my throw as it passes my ear, it would lose tracking. So the only way to adapt to that was I had to like stagger my arm, mm -hmm. so that it hit, like it had it was within the tracking volume, and like right. it'd have to be like this, and it was completely unnatural. I was like, I'm gonna throw my shoulder out. Mm -hmm. The CV one, I mean, inside out or outside in, whatever the hell they call the rift as. It's cool for everybody else, but it's not cool for Echo. I agree. Ah, uh, and now we we can start a war in the chat. About we started an AMD Intel war. Now maybe everyone will start uh, yeah. arguing about Rift S and if if they would just make it to where Rift S could use the external like sensors as well, I would I would totally get a Rift S. But I need the tracking behind my back. There's a lot of stuff that goes on back there that you know whether it's re reaching for Geo or um, you know moving the disc around your back, something like that. I don't know how well it works on an S, but. I, I just I know it works on a CV1, and I don't really want to move from that. CV1, I say this all the time. The ergonomics of the controller is everything. It's a, oh yeah, they get from God. Mm -hmm. Like they get from sturdy controllers. They're perfect. It's, yeah, I, the new plastic is awful. Like they need to go back. Anything. Make them backwards compatible or something. I don't know. <laughs> like listen to Use us. Use the mold. Mark Zuckerberg, tune into my awful podcast and listen to us. Give us what we want. <laughs> uh, no, it's it's really, it really was the perfect thing. But it, they realized like, hey, we can't cater towards the like the the niche uh, niche niche. Someone's gonna call me out for either either saying niche or niche. But yeah, you know this niche market of hardcore gamers. In hardcore VR gamers, which are burning a lot more calories than the traditional uh, hardcore potato gamers, or whatever, pancake right. gamers, which are potatoes. They're potatoes. <laughs> um, and uh, they gave us something so great, and then they had to change everything up. And it's like, you know, they, they're a corporation, they have to turn a profit, they have to push it forward, they can do whatever they want. But you, force, you forsaked us. Forsook, forsake. They, you know, you gave us something so great, and then you took, it, took away. it away. <laughs> Why would you do that? Uh, especially like if we build this muscle memory, and we like I use existing uh, muscle memory from playing football and baseball, and then I kind of combine them, uh, and I can't use that for the Rift S. I can't use my overhand throw. In my overhand right. throw, I throw with my body and my core first, and then my arm follows. Yeah. So it minimizes shoulder strain, and it's healthier for my body. Right. And I can't do that with the Rift S because I have to like stagger it, or like, I don't know. Does it? I'm, I'm gonna ask Chad. Does anyone else experience this phenomenon if they had like a completely vertical throw and then now it's like staggered? I'll get back to that, but uh. Yeah. No, like, and someone saying, like, the Lands87 said, uh, uh, the Halo strap sucks. I can see that. It's really loose sometimes. Like, when you turn your head, like, snap it, rotates just a little bit. I know it makes some people nauseous. Something so great. And, it, like, it was just... <laughs> Like the Halo strap, it's it's all bulky and it looks like it's easier for anybody to use. And, you know, we were I was at DreamHack and I was demoing them, and uh, you know it was so awesome to be at DreamHack. Like you got to see the abilities of the Rift S when all you had to do was just put some a headset on somebody, mm -hmm. and they were good to go. And you know you can't do that with the CV1. Uh so like. For the casual gamer, I mean, we're part of like this old guard, completely like purist players. You know, you you Venom, you bought a computer, mm -hmm. and you transitioned platforms. You switched from Xbox, you know, to PC, yep. and it's brought a a ton of developments. Like with a PC, you can do anything. Mm -hmm. And it's much more than a gaming PC, and you've used it as a 
content creation tool. You've used it for video editing. I think you've done a little bit of streaming. Um, uh, yeah. I, I yeah. have a separate. Well, I use a Mac for my uh, for video editing. Yeah. Oh. That's, okay. Yeah, that's how I got Final Cut Pro. Yeah. I share an account get, with my uh, dad. So. Uh, well, do you use like a laptop? Yeah, yeah. So it's all on a laptop. Um, you you do your editing on a laptop? I do. Yeah, I've got a little little mouse that I use to you know edit on that. How many thing. monitors do you use? Just the one, man. Yeah, it's. Oh God. You, you oh, gotta. I... You gotta. <laughs> I have four monitors in front of me. I, I got one, two, three, four, and I use all of them when I'm doing video editing. No way, really? Man, you yeah, guys need to get more efficient. Oh my god. <laughs> it, it will multiply you your productivity. So I'm much. sure it would, honestly. There's there's a lot of times when I'm just like, man, there's so much stuff here, but I don't know. I mean I get by on it, it's fine. You, the, uh, the, you... the software I use makes it pretty easy though, so that might might also help. How many mon like you need to a... I'm making hardcore recommendations, everyone. Like, uh, you need to get a new, you need an AMD, you need an Intel. No, but if you at least put one extra monitor on that setup, yeah. I think it would increase your productivity. Uh, so I recommend it. Because uh, yeah. you, like, you're new to PC, I mean, you've only been here for three years, you know? So I think, uh, you know, I think you'll see the light. But uh, <laughs> no, I gotta stop making these recommendations. And Lanson saying, do you use a laptop purely for Final Cut? Yeah. So this laptop, um, originally I was using like an old, just like Windows laptop for um, school, and that thing kicked the dust. So my sister let me borrow her um, her MacBook Pro while I'm still in school. Oh, so <laughs> I've been using that. So I use it for school, and then I mostly use it for editing. So she's kind of helped me keep keep being able to do this and as soon as i graduate i'm probably gonna have to give it back so i'm gonna have to buy a macbook but no you don't just use your just use your windows computer i can't though i mean i, I don't think there's any way that i could leave uh final cut pro like you've I learned all the tools song. yeah and i mean yeah i've learned all the tools i have all the hotkeys pretty well memorized and like i don't know it'd just be a pretty different transition you and like set up, you could set up a hackintosh could yeah i you guess just so get that. Just get a all you need. I don't want to shift in my chair because it sounds like I'm farting. I'm gonna do it now. Um, you could get a extra hard drive. Mm -hmm. Just get a get a big SSD. Yeah. Uh, and slap that bad boy in, and I'm th I think you just have to put a Mac OS whatever they use now. Yeah. And it, it will boot. Yeah. I think they're now uh, Intel switching to like new processors and getting away from x86, all this nerdy stuff. So I don't know if that will work in the future, but I think it will work now. Yeah. Uh, question for Lanzan: What what software do you use, Lanzan? I'm, I'm or just sure. use a VM? Yeah. Yeah, I could. Yeah. What is this gassy cobra? Death creeps coming in with gassy cobra. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Death creeps. Death Creeps, uh, who I haven't seen a player in a while. Uh, uh, someone pick him up on their team with VRML Season Two. He will. He's a good addition to a team. And far with Venom has on a bow tie. Yeah, my little Venom. <laughs> but uh, now VTS. So uh, yeah, I have to echo the. Uh, just use a VM. I'll have to. I'll send you some links to that, because then you won't have to change anything. You can just use a VM, and it'll yeah. be great. And DaVinci Resolve is really good and free. I use uh, I use DaVinci Resolve for some stuff. I use Kaden Live, but there's a lot of good tools. But if you have the ability, uh, try and try and run a VM, because I don't know. I I'll, I'll stop talking about Macs, but we'll go to VTS and VTS. And so far, I'm not gonna do whatever you're telling me to do. You've, you already ruined your chance. Uh, VTS has gotten really good with uh, motion graphics. So motion graphics are like this is a motion graphic. And I created that, and it sucks. But some of the stuff that V's created is pretty good. He actually made me a, uh, a, a transition. I have yet to use it. But he was actually making transitions in the most backwards way I've ever seen, and it was somehow oh. working. 
Like, VTS was telling me, like, he's like, I do, I have these really backwards ways of doing things. And I'm like, yeah, you have a backwards way of doing it. I don't know how you got it to work, but you did. <laughs> and, uh, uh, tell us about that trend, that, that, that development from making motion graphics in a traditional video editor to doing it. And I think now you're working in After Effects. Yes. After Effects. Um, well, I think at this point I had gotten too deep into streaming. Right? So I was like, all right, I might as well need, like make... And I was also bored. I always do these when I'm bored. Um, I could find a way to make like little animations and stuff. But I didn't have the right software. So what I did was I went into Vegas. Vegas Pro something, 13? Video editing software. And I made two screens of different colors. And I just... Moved them across the screen. Then I exported that as a transparent video. And then that gets played on top of the stream as like a stinger like um, transition. So it's literally playing a video from our hard drive somewhere instead of like a WebM. Way better. I, uh, uh -huh. That was, that was uh, no, no one understood that. Maybe there's, a, <laughs> there's one motion graphics artist in the chat and he's like, yeah, I know what he's talking about. Yeah. But uh, he VTS did something in the he does these things that I don't know how he arrives at the conclusion, but the process is a beautiful journey because it doesn't make, and, any, uh, make it doesn't make any sense. But he created these... says everything I do is like some kind of Rube Rube Goldberg machine, um, <laughs> and I think that's pretty accurate because in order to like stream, I have to set up a separate computer that streams the webcam footage to my desktop remove everything from all the USBs from this uh, case because it, it doesn't have enough USB ports for my mouse and everything. Plug in everything, get in the headset, set everything up, and then I can stream. It's like a 20 to 30 minute process just to stream. It used to be. It's better now. It's better Maybe. now. I, I use a dual computer setup for my uh, current stream. And uh, I need to get a better capture card but I feel your pain on that. Uh, and uh, all of this, uh, it's Five Spotted Dog coming through with all of this is why VTS deserves 100 bits every time I join your stream. <laughs> and uh, no, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely a process for you to stream. So I can appreciate that. And when are you going to get into streaming a little bit, Venom? Maybe we can create you a stream overlay. Yeah, I um, I really want to get into it. It's something I've thought about a lot recently. Uh, I just haven't had time for it to to start. So excuse me, uh, getting it like a schedule going. A gassy venom. Uh, but yeah, because like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I uh, I said gas because you like. Yeah. I'm right. trying to flip the joke on its head. It's not working. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but, anyway, um, no, so I've been doing basically training sessions with uh with new players new teams for the last three weeks that uh was probably going to be when i'll be streaming instead so i'll be doing my last training sessions this next week and then i'll move into actually probably doing a regular twitch stream and then also doing video editing as well so it's it's coming i think so i hope you have a uh and one boosty boy coming in and asking uh you plan on streaming to twitch or youtube um, what about Facebook gaming? gaming? Facebook I don't know. I mean, right now I've been thinking about Twitch. I mean, that's it seems to be where everything's at, but I don't know. I take suggestions. I don't know. Whatever you guys think would probably be the best best move to go uh, to. You should get a wireless it's a really obscure joke. I'm just gonna stop right there. But uh <laughs> No, if I hope you have a good overlay. I hope you have like because one thing I'm everyone's using the same stuff yeah and i maybe maybe v and me bts and me and because i know he's good and he likes helping people we got to get you a good overlay i would really right, I'm would down. appreciate that but, uh, yeah, I thought yeah. because uh, i created i created this overlay yeah completely this is all custom this is all completely well except for the background that's not me yeah that's of course rad uh but I created every element of this. Really? Every single element I created. Uh, some could call me an artist. Uh, 
I don't remember how I did this. I <laughs> I just did it in like one whole day, and it was just continuing to make and make and make things. Yeah. So. Yeah, it looks really good. Cool. Uh, and I made my other stream overlay. Have you seen that one? I'm not sure. My gaming stream overlay. Uh, Is, you'll have to. You'll. I haven't been on. You'll Twitch have to tune much. in some time. Yeah. You'll you'll have to. Well, maybe I'll pull up a clip, and you can tell me if you like what you see. Okay. Uh. But no, any ideas you got, VTS? <laughs> or, like, for his overlay? I'm so used to saying just V. I'm like, V. Yeah, what, what, what ideas do you got for... Uh... Right. A black... Black, like, just like a... Screen just swipes across with his logo zooming in. Then, so... The, the yeah. joke is that I use that for everything. <laughs> well, yeah, it's my if exact I can thing. find the... <laughs> If I could find it, I could show it uh, as my loud keyboard comes through. He has this stinger transition, and it's he made me he made me one. I made him one. I Are have this medallion transition I made. I made Andy one. I don't think he's ever used it, and it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> I don't. Does he know how to set it up? I don't. I, maybe. I, don't. I even made it for him and gave it to him. Bar saying much strong arming VTS into working for free. He already <laughs> does work for free. <laughs> but I apologize, VTS. I, but um, I wasn't trying to assume that. Or I think he understands where I'm coming from. Uh, trying to find these clips. You have to like be logged in now to see people's videos. Couldn't. Huh. That would be really, really weird if you. Yeah, a lot of to... are, like unsigned in when they watch stuff. But I would pull PTS? up a demo or something, but I don't think I yeah, have. Yeah, I think it's your name and then videos. So, yeah, we got a you got this green screen, right, Venom? Um, I used to have one set up behind me in my room, but it took up so much space I had to take it down because it was just driving me crazy. I'm gonna have to take this down because it's the eyesore and the blockage. Yeah, but how long does it take to set up? Um, for my green screen? Yeah. So it was um, how did I do it? So we had basically a wire strap or uh, it was like bolted to both sides or both walls, and then I had the green screen just. It was like a curtain basically. Yeah. But um, I just, it, it was a really big green screen because I, I have a pretty decent sized play space, but um, I don't know. I just, uh, it was right. Oh, here, here was the biggest problem. The, the reason why I had to take it down was it, it goes right in front of my bed. And so it blocks out all the light and it makes it really hard for me to get up in the morning because it makes it pitch black in there. So I was like, all right, I got to take this thing down. <laughs> so yeah, that, <laughs> that's where it went. So how about fangs biting into the background? Like, well, like, I, all I, uh, that's uh, from Vanquish. He's saying this for your background. Makes me think of the, the monster logo. Like, the nails tearing through the monster logo. But uh, maybe we can create... I'll, I'll send you some stuff. Because you already have logos. So... But uh, this is uh, this is my current overlay. So, let me see. Yeah. I don't know what actually the audio content of this clip is. But... You can see that the capture card is garbage. But we were playing late at night, so it's... You get a green screen, set you up in the corner. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Come on, it blocks it. I did it old school, yeah. though. Okay, yeah. Kind of see your the corner of it, bottom left. What? Green screen? It's hard to see it? No, you can. You can see a little. Like it's oh, not. It wasn't. It's probably uh, like a shadow. It wasn't correctly yeah. calibrated. Well, let's see. Uh. -huh. Well, that's not the green screen. That's the. Uh, that's the box. There's a little box there. Ah. There's a purple huh? box. So I decided to do everything like a little bit retro. Oh, the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we were playing Australian servers at late at night, and I just started going no. 
<laughs> Wait, let me see it. <laughs> How loud is that? But uh, no, like everything, everything I made, uh, and I think that's the best way to do it is just make everything yourself. Of course, it takes a long time, and uh, it's a learning process. But I think that's the best way to do everything. And I know Gilligan saying Sputnik, will this be uploaded to YouTube? It will, uh, but I I'm gonna keep it up on Twitch, and it's best to watch it on Twitch because. We ha I had technical difficulties, and there's no Twitch chat. So I'm going to leave it up on Twitch. When it expires, it's going to be on YouTube. But I think it's best to experience it in the VOD on Twitch. So Gilligan, who's your teammate, tell, you know, how, how is it playing with Gilligan? I hear he's the worst. He <laughs> is absolutely terrible. No, he's he's been a great, great captain to work with. Um, he is one of the most organized people I've ever seen in this game um you know he keeps track of scheduling he keeps track you know all the practices everything we go over um he's done a really good job and uh you know it's it's taken a little bit of time to to merge in with uh with the team uh play styles were a little bit different they're a much more fast-paced team than uh the nova was we were a very you know laid back you're like calm we weren't forcing anything, um, you know, too far uh, upfield and stuff like that. So they, we get in there and we start moving forward really quickly. And I, I think it's just, it's been an adjustment, but it's been really good getting to play kind of, we've, we've worked together to kind of adjust the team as well, both. So would uh, you say Nova that, style and their style. No, I don't mean to cut you off. Well, I do mean to cut you off. Oh, no, go but, ahead. No, you're good. <laughs> would you say that he, because who's, who's making the plays on that team? Who's that? Who's the mastermind behind that? Is that Gil? I mean, 90... <laughs> is that Gil? Is Gil the mastermind? Ninety percent of the plays that you guys see are are uh, I don't know who it, it essentially created them, but they came from Wireless Jacks before I I joined the team. But I, I brought a few over from Nova, but most of what you see is yeah, it's it's stuff that they have created and and tweaked and yeah, yeah. it's some good stuff. I think the the rise of Wireless Jacks uh, can really be. Um, because they came out of nowhere. They, they were they were undervalued and underrated, and you can really see the strength of good communication, solid strategy, applying real sports theory, game mm -hmm. theory, test trying it, tested it in true, like, uh, repetition, just repetition, mm -hmm. learning it, seeing what works, and continuing to do it until you find the success that you want. And that sort of organized practice, that sort of applied strategy, is uh, is really it really can't be understated the value of it. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about that VTS? Yes. Yeah, I know you. I know you tuned out for a, a little bit. Are you <laughs> looking at chat? I see you looking at chat. I see when your eyes divert to chat, and I'm like, it's, can I go uh... to him or like? Because you've been participating in the chat, so. I know your attention has been kind of divided. I don't know what to do with my body. Like, I feel like I'm moving too much. <laughs> so I'm trying really hard not to move, but then I look too static and I overthink it. So then no, I have to look at something else. What do I do with my body? I just dance to the music, V. But, uh. No. <laughs> so tell. <laughs> That's awful. That's an awful joke. No, um, I think you. You know, you you both been. I'm not cutting it here. Maybe I will cut it. Doing. I'll let's give it a few more minutes okay. to do the outros, because uh, uh, VT is getting a little VTS is getting a little uh, anxious. <laughs> what do I do with my body? <laughs> no, uh, no. I, I, you guys have really been great guests. It's been, this has been a blast. Uh, just, and I, I haven't been able to read what Gil says, uh, and it's Gilligan spelled with an I and not an A. And uh, far saying, wireless jack. I, I had to read it to make sure it wasn't like some like alliteration filled comment where I'm like, Venom, v -v 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 -v. wireless jacks has a true echo celebrity with Venom on the roster. And death creep saying, very trash shooter equals VTS. <laughs> you know, I've never, se I've, I've never heard you actually 
define what VTS stands for. So does it stand for very trash shooter? Sure. Why not? No, I don't, I don't <laughs> like that energy. You can't, we can't, we can't use that. What is, does it stand for anything? Yeah. So I've, I think I've said this a few times, but um, back when I was in high school, I was like in a bunch, I was with a bunch of like, we were all really nerdy. We wanted to make games. But like the group we call ourselves was Venomous Touch Studios. Oh God, it's so cringy. I hate it. Venomous? Touch? Touch. So wait, it all comes full circle. It all comes <laughs> full come. circle. My hand just <laughs> uh, phasing out of existence. It's all cyclical, man. It's all cyclical. So yeah. venomous touch. Oh god, that's it's awful. So it's that's it's awful. really bad. Yeah. Like I uh, I try not to talk about it, but people have asked, so I've just told them. Enough people know <laughs> that like it doesn't matter if you people know, but or you guys know. Very traceable shooter. That's pretty dark. Yeah. Death creeps. Uh, <laughs> uh, Venomous Touch Studios. Let me say yes. that one more time. I, no. It's making you uncomfortable, and this is good content. So, like, <laughs> have, did you ever watch? Did you ever uh, read or watch Batman with uh, Poison Ivy? Um, was it Poison Ivy? What, do you you know what I'm talking about? Uh, I think so. Poison Ivy? Yeah, I know who that is. So, uh, I guess that's what you were thinking about. No. You just thought it sounded cool. Oh you my were a God. bunch of nerds, bro. Like, just... So you're, like, playing Minecraft, and you're, like, beating a block down, you're like, yeah, Venomous Touch Studios. Click, 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 click. Uh, strangely click. enough, that's exactly how it went down. <laughs> well, uh, when Venom changes... When Venom creates his entertainment brand, he's, you can definitely pitch the idea... What do, you, what do you think of uh, Venomous Touch Studios? I think it's great. I, <laughs> we might have to do a little collab here. Yeah. <laughs> Look how uncomfortable he is. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, no, but uh, I feel like I feel like we've definitely run our course. Uh, like thirty minutes, a little long, and I don't want to keep you guys too long. But this has really been a good episode, and uh, I feel like uh, we should end off on you know everyone say their last parting words, and then. And then the the blade drops from the guillotine. No, I'm, I mean I've been making these really dark jokes, but uh, <laughs> okay, I like them. <laughs> you like? All right. Um, no, but is there anything? We'll start off with Venom because that's been the order, yeah. and uh, we'll end on that. Uh, do you give any like thing you? Uh, I don't. I don't even know the question I want to ask because I've I've literally gone through all the good questions. And we went off script because it's. I think this has been a really good episode, yeah. um, and it hasn't really needed the script. Uh, you know, and I'll have you on. An, I'll have both of you on another episode. This is this has been fantastic. So, are there any things that you want to like impart upon the community that you feel, you know, any any things you want to say before, before we end the stream? Buy my shirt. Everyone check out. <laughs> No, yeah. Um, I I just I I want to make sure that the community knows. Yeah, I'm I'm here to help all the new players. You know, that's that's why I made this channel. That's I want. I enjoy making stuff. You know, the highlights and stuff. But I really want to make sure the game grows. That's the whole reason why I started this channel. Uh, I'm a marketing major. That's something I'm planning on doing. So I, my my goal when I started this channel was to see what I could do to help make my part and blow up this game or you know blow the game up so and in a less physical sense but uh yeah so that's that's what i'm trying to do <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> um so and uh check out vrware they got some cool stuff so fontag got his plug he's happy uh and you know it's really it's really great what both of you guys do and uh i'll maybe have to you know refer to you on some marketing stuff I don't. I don't have a degree in marketing. I actually just got my degree in urban planning, and uh, that's absolutely mm -hmm. useless to me for what I want to do now. <laughs> but I uh, had to go back and finish it. And uh, no, marketing is a really big element, and you really echo is where you can take your skills and you can apply them in any way you want. Like I've been, I had all these disparate skills that are all over the place. You know, video editing, music editing. Uh, Public speaking, acting, all of this, 
all of these skills and finally I can put it all together and do something. Yeah. And you know, if you if you have skills, you can find a way to use them through Echo and through the Echo community. And uh, VTS has done that. He has developed his skills. As he's become a streamer. He never really. I don't. Did you ever have that idea beforehand when you played Echo? Like. Uh no. I when I first well when I first got into it I wanted to be like the, a top player, but I realized that that's over. That's not gonna happen. So now I'm just like floating in a weird sp- uh, space. So you're in an echo purgatory. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of because like I don't know. I've been thinking about this a lot more like lately. Like where where am I heading in this space? And is it a place I want to be? It's a really dark, uh, not dark question, but like no, a really big, it, you know, that's something question I got to answer. We'll have to. Uh, that's something that's a little bit more existential than yeah. I expected. But, yeah. Uh, we'll have to. We'll have to have the existential crisis episode later. Oh. Uh, no, no, I'll, no, I'm I'll, kidding. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying that. But you know, it, it's an important thing. It's you know, we put a lot of time into this. We put a lot of time into this. And uh, Five Spotted Dog definitely recognizes that. And that's why he gives you 100 bits. And, you know, everyone shows their support in one way or another. And, uh, you know, you do what you can do, but, you know, p- things change. And, uh, you know, w- when is the appropriate time to leave Echo? And, you know, when is the appropriate time to focus your effort on other things? And that's maybe something we can talk about in another episode. But, you know, don't leave us. <laughs> don't leave uh, the community. Uh, not leaving for a while. Stay with us, BTS, yeah. Stay with us. Say, don't go to the light. Don't go to the light. <laughs> uh, no, but it, 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 the community is what it is because of people like you. And you have imbued the community with characteristics that you want it to have, that you, that you do. And I don't know who D Tablin is. Uh, Echo is my work. Uh, it's unverified, but I'll I'll, I'll read it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, I'll have my I'll have a Rift CV20 in my in my deathbed. Uh, no, but I'll I'll let I'll read the last. So if you want something to be read now in chat, spam it. Don't spam your something over and over. But I'll give chat a few few seconds to say their last things and no it's been it's this has been a good episode uh i've said that a million times and gilligan really wants you to answer but he's using all caps how how did the team get formed or what is this igniteo i assume they mean team like how did the team get started i think they're talking about uh I don't know. Far goes between shit posting and trying to be earnest with his questions. So I don't know. There's a lot of shit posting in this. I wish I mean, we wouldn't do so much shit posting. <laughs> I've been going back and like looking to see how everything started out. So I could make a little article on Echopedia one day if I have the attention span to finish it. <laughs> definitely, a, definitely something I have a hard time with, and I'm always going from task to task. You can see it in my style of speaking. Um, but, uh, you know, video games have always appealed to people with ADHD, so uh, that's always been a component. And, no, it's, it's, it's been a good episode, and I think it's time to end it. And I've, I've loved having you on, and I, I want to have you on another episode. I think I, think I was going to do a series. I think this is a series finale. This, not the series, the season finale. And I feel like I'm at a good point to to end this season and let VRML finish and then start up season three of the stack. And so I'm going to announce that the end of the season is today, unless I have a special episode within the next few days. I don't know. I'm I'm really I'm really undecided because I love doing this show. I love doing this show, but it just takes too much out of me. And uh, I need to be doing some other stuff. Oh, yeah, I feel that. 
But yeah, uh, put a lot of work into this. Yeah, I put a. This sh- I put a <laughs> lot of work into this show. I, uh, I but uh, and it really, it, what I get from this show is episodes like this, experiences like this. This is what makes mm-hmm. it rewarding. I mean, bits and cheer and subs. That's cool. I like money. Who doesn't? But this is what I do it for. This right here. And I think this is. This is the greatest part of it. But. But is having this cutty shut up far. So with that being said, I'm gonna end this episode, and I thank all the viewers. I thank Venom. I thank VTS X King, and uh, have a good night. Yeah, thanks for having us on. Yeah, thanks. See you guys.